Hi guys, I'm Sarah Chabon. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be talking about something that I haven't talked about to any of my friends, even family, even my own husband. I got a lip flip. lip procedure or treatment I would say could be called a cupid's bow freeze but let's just get into it I made my green tea latte this morning perfection I used some macadamia creamer and Chobani oat milk incredible today we're going to talk about five things what is a lip flip why did I do it all about the process like the pain cost show you my before and afters and then just kind of give you my overall thoughts. So to jump right in, what is a lip flip? A lip flip is a non-surgical cosmetic procedure. Um, just saying that makes it seem like it's a very crazy thing, but what it really is is just some Botox injections in the upper lip area to freeze your upper lip from curling under when you talk or smile. To give you a simulation, I'm going to give you a smile where my lip curls in. <laughs> and I could give you a simulation of what it's like when you get a lip flip. Did you notice the difference? A lot of people only notice the difference when they look at themselves or when their natural lip flip is drastic. Like for some people, their lip curls in more than others. So to go into why I did this procedure is because... In the era of beauty and cosmetical procedures, I wanted to try something new that isn't invasive, isn't costly, and also won't change any look dramatically because personally, I am confident and happy with myself, but you know, always wanna try something new. You know, some people get the urge to get a new piercing or change up their whole entire hair. So the place I went to is very beautiful. It's not too far away from me. I checked their Instagram and they seem to do a very, very good job. They're very professional and even the lady who was giving me my lip lift was sweet and was open to explaining anything I wanted to know about this procedure and any procedure I would ever want to do. Okay, I had to turn down the brightness a little bit. Um, the first thing that the lady did is ask why I was coming in for a lip flip. I told her I just wanted a little change, just wanted to see what it would look like if I got one basically and if my upper lip looked a little bit bigger. She quickly emphasized that my upper lip isn't going to look bigger but that my upper lip is just going to show more when I smile and use this muscle that I usually would when I talk or eat. I kind of knew this and I had watched other YouTube videos and I did my own research about lip flips and I know someone who has gotten one before so I kind of already had expectations of what was to come. Now she asked if there is anything that I would do to my lips if I were to get lip filler and I just said that I love when the cupid's bow sticks out and there's kind of like that line with the lips where it just like makes you look a little bit more not puckered but your lips are just like pouty. I'll put like an example photo here just because I don't want to sound like <laughs> I don't know. With what I said about the cupid's bow, she decided to emphasize my cupid's bow, numbed the area after wiping it down um, to sanitize the area, of course. The numbing cream she left on for maybe like 30 seconds to a minute. She wipes it off and then draws dots in the exact location that she wanted to uh, give me that Botox. <laughs> now let me insert the video of her putting the Botox in my upper lip. <laughs> Up again. Okay, relax. Just two little pops, okay? You ready? Five. You okay? Mm -hmm. One more, okay? You did it! Oh, okay. that was it? That's it. That's <laughs> it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering, did it hurt? And I could tell you now, I'm sure it stung a little bit but I was so unfazed by the pain that I don't even really remember. So I'm sure if it hurt at all, it was just a little bit of pinching and you could just kind of like feel stuff like 
burning up in here, but nothing too painful. I'm sure if you have very low tolerance for pain, this is probably one of the things that you can do because the needle is just so tiny. After she put it in, I iced it for a little bit. You don't see results for I think like a week or something. So for that whole week, I was just smiling, trying to see if I would find any difference, but I didn't. So this place has like a flat rate for lip flips. I paid $150, which is nothing compared to what lip filler costs. I think it's like five to 600. That same place actually charges $750 for one syringe of lip filler, so nothing close. I believe I got four or five units of Botox, so it could have costed me closer to uh, like 50 to 80. Dollars. Um, I know a lot of other places they only charge like $10 a unit or something like that So this place is definitely a little bit more expensive, but I wanted to go somewhere that I trusted with really educated people um, That wouldn't mess up or just like I don't know use the wrong kind of Filler or something. I don't know <laughs> after about a week I kind of started to feel the Botox kick in but I do wish I went back and took advantage of getting it touched up for free within those first uh, seven, uh, seven to 10 days because I didn't feel it in the way that I wanted to. Um, I would smile and be like, is this really like, do I see a difference? Um, let me just go ahead and give you guys what you're looking for. Here is a before and after um, of kind of what it looks like when I am smiling. Um, this is the picture that you would wanna see the most. I mean, I have some other before and after pictures like um, of me not smiling at all or me doing like a different kind of smile, which um, I'll kind of periodically put up on the screen, but I'm sure you guys wanna take a deep look into these. Judging by these photos and judging by my experience, I'm going to give you my overall thoughts and recommendations to anyone who's looking to get a lip flip. The biggest positive is that it is the cheapest procedure I think that you can do to your lips if you want to notice something but I don't think that this is fit for anyone and the person who is working on you and doing these procedures will tell you for example uh, honey you don't got lips so this lip lip is not going to change anything for you another positive is that there is a slight difference which I'm sure you guys can see in the photos but the difference isn't big enough for me to care um, and kind of to touch base back on why I said I didn't tell my friends or family that I was going to get a lip flip is specifically because I wanted to see if anyone would notice and say, hey, like, it looks like you got lip filler or like your lips look great. Um, nobody said that. Not even one person said that at all. In fact, the only time I've ever gotten a compliment like that is um, kind of the beginning of my Accutane journey when I was picking out my lips a lot and there was so much peeling and, and inflammation and like redness going on and I'd put so much chapstick that my lips looked bigger because of how inflamed and how much glossy chapstick was on them. It is now December and I got this lip flip back in the end of October so it's barely been over a month. Botox is meant to last, they say anywhere from three to four months or even some say six months. In no way do I feel any frozenness in my lip. Um, even the lady told me that when I go to sip a straw, I might kind of feel something funny, but that actually doesn't happen to me. I don't know if mm, my lip muscles are just way too strong for this Botox, <laughs> but, or if I just should have, you know, uh, maybe I should have just gotten some more just to really see what this lip flip is about, especially because I did pay that $150. Regardless, the procedure is cool. I had fun with it, but I wouldn't go back and do it again just because I didn't notice a big enough difference that is worth my $150 that I work really hard for. If you've ever thought about lip filler, but you just really don't want that look, you just kind of want to try something new and you don't know what to do, I do recommend a lip flip specifically for that purpose. And then after you do it once, you can decide if you liked it enough to do it again. Overall, I'm really happy that I got to try this procedure so that I can talk about it and post about it on YouTube for everyone to understand the process, the pain, the money, and if it's worth it in the end or not. I really hope you enjoyed my video and if you end up either getting or not getting a lip flip after this video, please put it down in the comments. I'm very curious. Anyways, I have a beautiful day. If you guys notice some really weird lines on my forehead,
forehead during this whole entire video. I learned that in my area, everything is closing down again. I can't get my eyebrows done. Tried to wax them because I'm on Accutane. My skin's extra sensitive and I literally just like damaged the, the skin over here. So I'm on day three of healing. I tried to push out this video as much as I could so I could look normal, but anyways, <laughs> okay. Have a great day. Bye.